Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Cindy and today I'll be reviewing the Mini 2 Match Lipsticks from Etude House. As I've been walking around, I keep seeing Etude Houses with different uh, advertisements and they keep talking about these Mini 2 Match Lipsticks, so I decided why not get them and try them out for you guys. Basically, each little lipstick like this is 2.4 grams of product and it costs 5,801. I will put the dollar amount somewhere on the screen. And then you can just buy one if you're just curious about the color and curious how it looks up to you. Or you can buy two of them and then you have to buy a separate magnetic holder. So the magnetic holder is 2001 and I don't know that it's really worth 2001. Like, shouldn't it be like a little bit cheaper? I don't know. So you have to stick them together and they're going to like snap, you're going to hear it. Because one of the problems I've been having with this, by the way, this is not first impression, this is just kind of me talking. The problem I've had is that if you do it incorrectly, let's see if I can figure it out. Yeah, you're going to feel it resist, so you have to kind of feel it and wait for it to snap correctly. The second problem I've been having with this is that when you pull it, watch, well, it's not going to do it on camera, sometimes the whole thing pops off and not just the cap. If you're like me and these things kind of are hard to figure out where the color is, if you look closely, the color of the product is on this nice little band so you won't forget, like me. There's four types of lip products within the Mini Too Much Lipsticks. So they can be lip colors, they can be lipstick color mixes, so they help change the shade of the first color you put on. I guess you could wear them alone, as you're going to find out when I put these on later. Uh, they also have lip balms, which I figure not really worth it because you can just buy it. A nice cheap lip balm and then they have lipstick toppers which I think are really cool they're like these glittery shades they have like warm neutral and cool ones so yeah I bought all the types with the exception of the lip balm and I'm going to try out the different combinations on my face so what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna have two uh, clips going at the same time so one will be a close-up version of my lips that I did of all like the lipstick combinations that I have I did it yesterday because I didn't really have time to do both today and then this time I'm going to do all of them right now so that you can kind of see what it looks like far away like all put together with my other face makeup so yeah let's get started wait 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 there is something I want to tell you one last thing before we get into the colors themselves so the shape of some of these lipsticks are quite interesting for the lipstick colors and the color mixes themselves they have this sort of triangle rooftop shape and then the other ones, the toppers, I don't know about the lip balms, but I know the tops are, toppers have a rounded shape, like so. So I don't know how that's going to affect the application process, but we shall see. I used this one <laughs> with the black. You're going to see it later. Okay, so now, for real, second time, let's get started. The name of this one is LA Onni or LA Lady. And the color is a little bit bright for me, but I think for other people they might like it for the spring or summer. The texture is a little bit thick and I've noticed that as I was applying it, it can smudge really easily, so you have to be careful during the application. Now I have the LA Onni and on the inside I have put the Muhagwaja or Fig Flower Cake. This is kind of the most popular combination I saw on the advertisements. However, it's not really for me. It's brighter in person than I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be more like brownish purples or like more muted colors. So this is not my preference, but again, for people who like lighter things, I think this would work well. Okay, now this is interesting. This is the Ele Onni, and on top we put the black. It's called a Vampire Black. It is one of the color mixers that they offer. And this is kind of the color that I like to go for. Can you tell by how happy I look? So it's a little bit darker, it's a little bit more like not a bright pink like the first one, so I'm very pleased with this. Now this one is Ele Onni, topped with a gold lip topper. The name is Gold Mansru. I don't know what that means, so if you know, please let me know. And I actually kind of like this color combination together. I think the gold adds some depth to what was otherwise just kind of a very flat, bright color. So I can I can wear it like this. This I would be content to wear around. 
small intermission. As I've been doing this, I kind of realize every time I swatch, it gets onto my teeth quite easily. So be careful while you're putting it on. You just don't like want to swipe it and run away because there might be some on your teeth. Yeah, okay, I'm safe for now. <laughs> Let's keep going. This one is the Fig Flower Cake or Muha Gwaja. I don't really know why it's called that. It doesn't necessarily look like fig colored in any way to me, but... And once again, the Vampire Black has saved the day. This is Muha Gwaja topped with the black. And just as a side note, it's a good tip to kind of blend it just a little bit with your finger to make sure the color gets everywhere. It's a little bit hard to like get every, cover every space over again, so yeah, just use your finger. This is the Gold Lip Topper and the Muha Gwaja. And again, I prefer this in just wearing the lipstick color alone. I really like the gold shimmer that it puts on top. I really want to just buy all the toppers. I think that's my goal. <laughs> So out of curiosity, I just put the black straight up on my lips. Um, I would say don't do that. If you really want to try a black lipstick, there's probably more opaque and better formulations out there. This is good just on top of a lip to change the shade, as it was intended to do. <laughs> Something interesting has happened. I didn't like just the black alone, but the black with the gold mansur made this nice, interesting color. Yeah, I think I'd wear it out. It's kind of like chic. Is that a good word for it? Chic, daring, lovely, I like. And finally, this is just the gold lip topper on my lips. So I will say that you can feel like a slight grittiness on your lips. And because I've been testing this over a bunch of different lipsticks in the period of 20 minutes, I kind of feel like I got glitter in my mouth as well. So that's kind of gross. But I think if you just wore this, and only put it on one time, it'd be pretty good. And I actually kind of like the combination of my natural lip color with this pigment, so I recommend giving that a go as well. It layered pretty, pretty well, and now it's like a really thick glitter, but you can make it just like one soft layer. You can even just put it like in the center of your lips. So I think this is a very like versatile product. Okay, so that part is over. That, those are the four different lip colors I was able to get for you guys because I don't have a lot of money. At this point, I'm going to kind of just wear it and do a wearing test and see how long it will last on my lips. I put on the fake flower cake with the gold topper. I already came up with a few cons. One, it sponges quite easily. Two, it gets on your teeth quite easily. This is not a color you want to like put on and run out the door. No, check your teeth. Oh, actually, should I check my teeth right now? I don't want to. Yeah, I'm okay this time. Uh, and so I kind of think it won't last very long on my lips, but you never know what's going to happen. So it is 2.49 right now, or 2.50. So I will check in in a few hours and let you know what happened to my lips. So I'm an idiot and totally forgot to check up on this lipstick situation. It is now 8.05, so that's somewhere around five hours. That's math, right? Okay, yeah. So it's been about five hours, and this is what my lips look like after all that wear time. I've been eating things, drinking hot chocolate because it's freezing right now, and you know, that warms up my heart and my soul, and apparently it sponges my lipstick. So this did not really last very long. I'm not surprised that it did not last very long, so it is what it is. So I'm going to pull you in for a close-up. So that's what it looks like close up, and as you can see, you are going to need to touch it up throughout the day, which is why you have that fancy magnetic holder. If you're using two products at once, that means you can snap them in and bring them with you. Very handy. And that, my lovely people, is the end of this review. If you found this video at all entertaining and or informative, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's any other products you'd like me to try so I can spend my money instead of you and see if it's any good or not. Also, catch me on Instagram, same name as this YouTube channel. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, or whatever time of day it is where you are, and I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.